Alright y'all, it's finale time. And we are now moving forward to the second part of the finale of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. So, without any further ado, and without if, with every question moved out of the way, let's begin. So, let's click back in. Uh, am I hallucinating? Unfortunately not, so. But, I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay! Hey, I said the same thing. I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. Been a long time, Miss Anoshima. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? Oh, good lord, she's talking about her chest. She, she's huge! She's way too huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. Don't say it. You know, that game, Nyperella. Oh, well, I never heard of that one then. Said it anyway. <laughs> oh, dear God. Stop see, zooming up on that. See. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know? Good lord! Guys, that... I know this is an M-rated game, but... I have kids watching, man. I get fucking crushed! <laughs> if this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But, too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either. Well, thank God it's not a fan service game. Otherwise, we'd be having some really we'd be having some really bad problems. You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. Well, good. We like solving mysteries anyway. <laughs> so fucking hopeless. And our personalities are back. This is Monokuma's true identity. Oh yeah. We have to deal with this thing. I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Ah, oh, she's back too. Um, is it just me, or did her personality change? Or did the daredevil personality not give that away, so? I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? <laughs> I have plenty of data on you guys. So it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. No, she's straight up creepy. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. When you're dead, does that mean... Is the present trade any... Junko Enoshima. Welcome to Crazy Town. Are you... Junko Enoshima? abso freaking Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. It should be your only time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. You're the one who agreed to take yourself out if you lost the last class trial. So, that's on you, man. And why is someone who died here right now? know about an artificial intelligence called alter ego she has one too huh exuberance we are now an ai we have transcended humanity what ai stop saying all this crazy bullshit well so was chiaki you see my personality is like this because i'm the type who dies easily right that's why i made my own ai program while i was still alive when did you have time to do that and then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane person is Junko Enoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hosey Academy. Destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this female dog's doing. I've been waiting to use that joke. Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko and Oshima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! No. Hell no! Man, they hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. I am not surprised she tampered with this stuff. Huh? Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. 
And I uh, hopefully I won't quick quickly click this time. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. How do you resurrect avatars that are already gone? That's the real question. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? Dude, you're taking the bait. It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game. So it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. What personality is this? Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. That's not what you're supposed to do. Show of hands, class. Teacher how personality. Do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? Duh. By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, no choice but to answer. How long took for Juku and Ashi to modify the graduation program? Should be watching how long it took. If so, some place you're watching that was Jabberwock Park. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliant! Slightly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Then what's its purpose? Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? Huh? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers. Or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was... just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? I've had- I've played a couple games like that before. Well, I'm so overpredictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's- she's seriously messed up. This is your guys' first time seeing Junko and Oshima. I've already- I've already experienced her brand of crazy before. Well, in a way. The countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like, don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. A game? Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. Then how do you explain what Monokuma said earlier? What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. I think we do. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. That's true. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with a computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask mm -hmm. too. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. 
Is that what you want? Not to go back? This is utterly confusing right now. Hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for like forever. Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Because everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. Yeah. You are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Wait, what? Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? All right, let me just save really fast because we're already in the middle of the class trial and would like to save. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You're not allowed to vote, remember that. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? You guys are all falling for the for the lies. I mean, do you really think the mastermind of a killing game is gonna let you go home like this? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, I can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then it's safe to say this is the good ending, right? Don't press anything. Hey, what are you doing? It's time my majority was. I don't think about it press graduate. Don't you want to go back home? I don't care if you want to stay, but don't drag us into it. Okay. So apparently we can't just press anything. Guess we do have to press graduate. I got it! Makoto! Don't press it! This is Jugo's trap! Which what I've been saying this entire time. Makoto, the real boy, is here now. What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time it's the real one. Real? Yup. I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. He's finally here and he's ready to and he's ready to put things back in order. This guy's the real Makoto Naegi? And this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. Because the power of plot. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm drooling. I can't stop my <laughs> Good lord, she's annoying. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? He is part of the Future Foundation. That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Oh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? Well, it doesn't matter. It does matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Even a mastermind like that's not that powerful. Hey, little old me. You are a bona fide liar. Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, 
none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. So everybody will be... Junko will be in every one of the people that died. What? Then... Everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. They're gonna be taken over by Junko? That's exactly it. What the fuck? Like the real world. Once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. Yeah, especially with Paco, he'll lose his crap. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. Ooh, that's a double whammy. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Wait, what? Junkify? All mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. Whoa. And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world. That's a lot of Junko. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land will be complete. Clever name. That's Operation Junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. Our dreams are expanding That messed up plan is your goal? I think that's it. Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? That's very true, actually. Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that? It's because there's something she didn't do. If so, the reason is the school trip's rules. I see. She can't hurt us. God, it's because of the school trip's rules. We can't hurt her, and she can't hurt us. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. That's it. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. I accept this rule made. Oh wait, just so the rules were protecting us. Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Otherwise, he'd be too overpowered. Oh well. Even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then. Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? She's like a goddess in this world, Fuyuhiko. Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? But still, that is pretty messed up. Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! I'm on his side. I... Can't forgive her either. So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate, so you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. Yep, that's exactly it. How? How can you be so cruel? So basically, hitting graduate will give up your free will of your body, and she can have control. Because Junko and Oshima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? That's a pretty screwed up reason, but that's... It. Anyone who's played the end of Trigger Happy will know that. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? 
picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. Wait, what? And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? I don't think so, now that I know what that story is. Could it be you talking about them right now? The Reserve Corps students. I see! Are you talking about the Reserve Corps' mass suicide? That story does not have a happy ending, Kazuichi. Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Corps. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. M mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the Reserve Corps all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all died at once. That could be your parents, friends, and lovers you are. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? So we either keep her trapped here, or we get out and she goes free. Huh? We choose graduate to get out of here. The graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. I'm sure that's not the real reason. Wrong! That's not it! But Ultimate Despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Unfortunately, I, I don't even know. That's why I'm not talking as much, because I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out. Even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! Oh, mistake? Was it really just a mistake? It's a mistake to think we'd go home alive all along? What about the killings and the class trials? Is that just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs kill each other off? That's... This is just too... Don't give up yet! There is a way you guys can get out of here! Without letting Junko out! What is that way? Huh? No, no, there's no way such a convenient... There is! Oh, that's right! Well, that's the first I've heard of it. I just remembered the shutdown sequence! Or she's heard of it? But there was even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't even know about it might be that! The shutdown sequence. You can override the observer and force the escape the program. Not even the teacher observer can prevent that. Let's go! Let's see. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. Well, it's not hidden anymore. You just stole her. A hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Exactly. Dear me. I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Huh? You... you know about it? More yeah. Importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated is... Not enough people! I see! Because... 
There's not enough people. If there was 15 of us to start with, or 16, excluding Chiaki, you would need eight people to do that, right? Half of the number of people that you started with. <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. And we don't have 15 people anymore. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. Not yet. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta <laughs> speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Wait, who? Them? Kyoko! It's not something you need to take your time saying. Detective Girl's here! And Byakuya! Believe. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. They're all back, boys! Kyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come! Kyoko? Byakuya? We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I I'm sorry. Yeah. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey! What's going on? Why are there more people again? There's more admins than just Makoto. How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I've done that before. It actually is exciting. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, She's much bigger than I remember. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. Just stop it, Junko. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with girls. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. Oh yeah, because only they they only know the fake Biakuya. You shut up too. <laughs> yep. Um, are you two also from the future foundation? No, it's probably not just that. Six of you joined the future foundation because you revered their ideals, right? The future foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived. Hope you recover your memories. Tragedy. The killing school life is referring to that. You guys are the survivors of the killing school life who previously defeated Junko, right? That's exactly it. Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jesus, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Because it's half of 15. What in the world? Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff, and now all the ultimate despairs <laughs> will be treated like even bigger chumps. That's not the issue. You said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. This messed up world? Hey. Can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. Wait. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? Yeah. It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload. So you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. So we'll still be ultimate despair. Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? They wanted to know, didn't we? We wanted to know. They have to know everything. 
or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program... We're in the program. We'll revert to ultimate despairs. I see. So how does that help us? Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. Again, how does that help us? <gasps> no! Are, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. If... If she dies within this program, then we won't be controlled by her, right? It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Gonna save again. So... Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. The real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Then what's the point of... You know what, no. Let's just hear him out. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like... really nasty. But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that! Well, why wouldn't you? I mean, at this case, you'd forget all the killing, all the trauma. Wouldn't that be good? It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless. Vanish? Does that include her, too? Lose memories of this world, we're also going to forget that she ever existed, right? Oh, Chiaki! I meant you meant Junko. If that happens, does it really mean that... that she... An existence confined to this world. Is really going to disappear? She risked our life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed! Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition? That's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We don't know anything about that past! Hey! Why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? That's what I want to know. Actually. I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. What does that have to do with now? Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. Wait, what? The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? I don't think she is. Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. As in? When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived, and the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Let's find out. Alright! Things are starting to heat up! 
This isn't a game, you know. How contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That you started. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again. Only because it's true. I love how that was voiced all because it's true. Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily. So the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. The same outcome as the killing school life, do I just remember what occurred there? People do go lurk, the method. I try connecting those dots, should be an answer there. Okay, logic dive once again. So, let me move my mouse over there. And... Switch hands, because I'll need this. Why not this gun? Huh. Oh. Ah. That was too lucky. Nope. I had to jump right when it shows up. There we go. Who did Joker and Hiroshima want to lure? Future Foundation. Headmaster is dead and we're alive, so Future Foundation. playing completely with my left hand. That's actually really difficult. Question two. What bait was used to lure the Future Foundation? The killings. Because remember, the Neo World program was originally designed for peace. Lure violence into that thing they didn't want, and you got yourself to captive audience. This is a complicated logic dive right here. I am literally... Nope, that was too cocky. I was gonna say I was about to do this all in one take, but hey. Whoa, I'm right to the right. Ooh, that was one try. I am seriously really cocky right now. Holy crap. Question three, there you go. What did Junko use to force them to watch the killings? Oh, <laughs> they're all spelled differently, so I just thought it was the same answer, but it's not, that was the trick. So, surveillance cameras. Oh boy. It's all coming together. Sorry, good. 
got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the Future Foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? That's exactly what the first game surveillance cameras were being used for. In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? Hopefully there wasn't anything indecent. What shall I do? I did a lot Ooh. of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. You sure did. <laughs> I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. How does anyone forget what you saw? So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again. Until it was finally possible for us to enter the program when it was too late just a short time ago and you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap i get it you couldn't just leave them alone if you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played help dictates that you act all high and mighty and say oh i'm definitely gonna stop at this time right hey don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. What other reason could there be? It's Dong and Rafa. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright, solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. All of us were just pawns for you. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Hardy har har. A desperate attempt to break the fourth wall. Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program to provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. So we were willing to go inside the Neo World program just for this battle. That's just your imagination. Oh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair! Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious! You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place! Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair! We do not feel despair. No, we don't. Not after the last game. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And... This is the only thing we could do to stop you. But, nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. Let's do this. You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two op options, graduate and repeat, right? You have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, whichever one has the majority will consider your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. You had to say it. You had to say so. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is teacher's final decision. I see. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. But that was just for the graduation thing. Not the shutdown sequence. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know? What, does that mean it won't end just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if you vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. 
Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that all too well. I mean, she's been bad mouthing us this whole time. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's mm. true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. Mm -hmm. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. What makes you think we won't? Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. But without you controlling us, we'll just be normal people. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> Holy crap. How many takes did that take? No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair! Neither will I, since I was the one who was controlling you previously. Ah, oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the Mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. Wait, you're not the Mastermind? Mastermind? That's not... you. Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Wasn't he the founder of Hopesick Academy? Izuru Kamakura? That name, I've heard of her, the person called the ultimate hope. That shouldn't be all he was. That's right, I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. So I recall that person was... The founder of the academy. Let's see. Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the academy's founder. That name... It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? And we also saw a portrait of him in the funhouse as well. However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the ultimate hope, right? Hmm? Does the founder have the same name as that ultimate hope guy? I highly doubt the same person. Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future foundation might know something. Right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. It's a tragedy, isn't it? The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Which started- which kicked off the tragedy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information yep. about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel cool thing. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. And who's that? Isn't that right, Hajime? What? We're... What? What? I am... What? We're not murderers. Like I said, 
Your Izuru Kamakura. When? How? Already? If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. When did we become the ultimate hope? Because we were told that we have no talent. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're. Now hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! I told if they told us we were talentless. Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura? When? When did that happen? Good news, Hajime! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along! Ultimate hope! How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? I have no clue, man. In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? I mean, that could be possible. And Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always had that name ever since I was born. Then Izuru is your fake name? I don't. Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last minute plot twists. Could it be created hope? Yes. Uh... Audrey, something on your mind, right? Do I? Good news, Hajime. All right, it was this. Even though you were mocked. How can someone have such an amazing in order to hide it? Was he hidden in the in Hajime's? Th there's no doubt I've always had that name. Er then Izuru is your hey, you weren't. I do not want any more last minute plot twists. Could it be created hope? Yes, a hope cultivation plan. That must be it. Sorry, where's my dog is behind me? Created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. It's like a create mankind's hope. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. I mean, that's kind of true. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. And that's what made you stand out among all those reserve course students. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. She is crazy. Lies. That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? I have no clue, man. Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. Of course. Whoa. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata so I had brain surgery. into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. 
known as Izuru Kamakura. And under that identity, I did those horrible things. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Holy crap. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Good lord. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, Hajime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. So now I'm no longer Hajime when I get out of here. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. That's horrible. Then... When Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Forever. D disappear? You won't be yourself anymore. All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Disappear. I'm going to disappear. Disappear. Disappear, disappear. Disappear, disappear, disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. Don't give up, man. Come on. No. Oh, that's who it was. That's who was on the boat. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm, really? I don't really understand, but I guess they to part ways for a while. This is disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Oh, jeez, that just scared me. I don't blame him for screaming like that. Because he's going to lose himself to this program. Yeah. No, that's, that's not me! Persona? I'm sorry, I just played Persona 4 and I just see that and I'm like, Persona? That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Huh? Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... Because I was under her influence. It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. Dang. <laughs> oh no. Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I... do? Is it... I already know I can be saved. Choose graduate. I see. I see. Oh. I just need to choose graduate then. Huh? huh? No. Stop it. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. Hold on. You can't do that. If you do that, Everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. But then I'll die. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. And why is that? Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest 
exist at all. That's not it. What we're saying is... We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? I don't even know what to believe right now. Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> And can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love, there won't even be save data left of it. Not if I keep saving the game, there won't be. I'm sorry, I just felt like really, it, it, it felt like really meaningless. It felt really meaningful to do that. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? Dude, that's insane. You can't believe her. That's how she works. That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on. What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now? It's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. I don't want that, but still. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. What other way? As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories, and everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. But then they'll have you in their bodies. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. Um, what shall we do? I don't even know. You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it. Why'd it turn out like this? Dang. What? Oh, wait, what happened to our health bar? You guys should be able to grasp true hope. What happened? If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Pekko one more time. You I don't even know what to do. Ultimate despair. The Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. Stop it. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! For your protection. If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! Graduate or shut down? The world or me? Oh, we didn't have to do anything. Hope or despair? They're telling us to choose? To choose between that? Why? Why do we have to choose? 
Whoa! Whoa, whoa, okay. Was that supposed to happen? Hajime. I can't do it. Huh? C can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that? I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This... This is just too much! I can't blame him for snapping, finally. He is gonna lose his entire existence just because if he leaves the game world. Why do I... Why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent! But even so, I got dragged into this, and now... My existence is going to disappear? Hey, I, I just noticed as I was listening to Hajime. Is that Yu Narakami's voice? My boy, Chad Yu Narakami. Chad Kami. How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Yep, that's my boy, Yu Narakami. Both choices are hopeless. But I should seriously get back on the character right now. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? All of you. This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. The screen's going dark. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. I don't even know if I got a good ending, bad ending, or a neutral ending. I don't even know. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. Alright, let me just save once more again, just in case I have to pick up from here somehow. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope. You'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and Whoa. ever and 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 ever. Holy crap, lady. Whoa! Holy crap! What in the world? Oh, it's everyone! Dude, it's been so long. Wait, what? And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. What did we? What did she do? Your master, that is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us. Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Junko is gone. All right, let's party! Our health bar. My full our health bar and focus bar are still here. Just leave the BGM to Ibuki. Dude. Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? I've prepared you a training regiment. Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? Whoa. <laughs> After all this time. Hold on. What was this again? Oh well, I didn't even think about it. I wanted this ending. All right. A game and with this, the world. An eternal game. I guess it's fine to stick. Your master. Yay! 
Yes, there's a... And with this, Juka... All right! I'm gonna showcase my... Just leave the beachy... Hey, can I take... What to be awed by the... I've prepared you a... Ooh, should I begin with a... <laughs> After all this time... Wait, there's still more. That's not it. Chiaki! You guys aren't part of the game, right? Hold on. We aren't part of the game. What was this again? Oh, well, there's nothing to think about it. I wanted this ending. I wanted this? All right! A game reset! And with this, the world will continue to loop! An eternal game utopia sound- No! That's not what we want! This world! Let's break this world apart! That's what we're here to do! Who... are you? I'm the player. Oh, Chiaki! I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Chiaki, man, stop! I know this is the finale, but did you have to hit me in my feels? Chiaki, is that you? Why are you here? Hmm, I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It does. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. Isn't that messed up? That's a lot of stuff to handle. Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? What? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified of that. I don't blame you, man. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? Yeah. But even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. That's the important part. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be alright. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Hmm. Hey, Chiaki. Can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? That's also a possibility. Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course, games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. That's true. But this isn't a game, right? Hey, 
Hajime, this isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? Chiaki. Whoa, that's a lot of Izuru. I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. Oh, wait. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can beat Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Stop listening to the voices in your head. Not mine. I can't choose the future. Then create one. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. Yes. This is me? Is this really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool. I have no talent at all. Wrong! Create your future! I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. No! I don't want to disappear. You're not gonna disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Yes, but you'll create your future. Who cares what will happen to the world? I care. I don't want to sacrifice myself. We're not gonna sacrifice ourselves. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. You will be appreciated. There's no way we can beat Junko. There is a way. It's the Future Foundation's fault. No, it's not. Even so, not mine. It is not your fault. Even so, I can't choose the future. You're gonna create one. Even so, I... Chills, my guy. Chills up and down my arm and spine. No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here... It won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future, even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. Goodbye, Chiaki. <sighs> that reminds me. Yes, we gotta wake up now. Got to say it again. <laughs> the thank you. Wait, awaken. We gotta, we gotta wake up. Come on, let's go. We're not gonna fall to her despair. Not anymore. Wake up. Let's go. Wake up. Come on, let's go. If we don't rid the world of despair. Come on, let's go. The tragedy will start once again. Let's go, boys. Don't fall to her despair. If we turn back into ultimate despair. Let's go, boys. Create the future. You might be killed by the future foundation, all right? This is your responsibility since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's not my responsibility. Okay, are we awake now? It's the future foundations. They're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking reached. You can't lose hope! Okay, store power. We gotta keep clicking. If the memories we made here disappear. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will not even remember. Let's go, boys. Why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair. I think we have to mm, click a lot to the do this. The tragedy will start once again. I wanna see Becca one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair. Oh wait, we have to hold it, I think. You might be killed by the future. There we go. Right? This is your responsibility since you're the ones who fell to despair. There we go. You can't lose hope. We're not going to lose it. Let's go. Let's create our future. If we don't rid the world of the tragedy, we'll start once. Stop listening to your lies. This is your responsibility. It's not your responsibility. It's the future found. Let's create this future. Let's go, boys. No, that's wrong. It won't just be hope. It will probably be a lot of despair, too. I don't know what kind of future. Whoa, boy, us. we just awakened to our super saiyan powers. 
But our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Hell yeah. Huh? Who the hell are you? Super Saiyan Hajime, at your service. I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. Don't tell me. Izuru? That's me. Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata. That's who we are. The rebuttal shonan, baby. Future. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Well, holy crap. for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. Absolutely freaking not. Just turn off the game. Advance, boy. So, I... You don't have to look at the hopeless future. Yep, if it means crushing you, it's worth looking. It's over, Junko. Just stop this already. I don't want anything. You have no argument. There's no hope. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. This is a crappy feeling. I don't want anything. Mizuru! You have no argument. The future will make you suffer. Just give up already. You're not hope. I don't want to lose anything. Any choice is despair. You're not hope. You have no argument. Nope. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able that's to do anything. Wrong. No, that's wrong. Hell yeah, boy. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All of a sudden! Everyone! Let's shut this game down! Absolutely. Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll- There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there we can just create it on our own. The future that we want! Yup. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Does that matter? That goes for everyone else! Um, we just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? <clears throat> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but... I just... I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it, like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... The ultimate hope... ourselves. You saw it too. Right, Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now. That's the attitude to have. S seriously That's a suicidal decision! I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I heard her voice, in fact. I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? Stop. I'm still That's recording. That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! That's the path. Man. This sure is getting annoying again, but if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. 
All right. You, you all. Why? Why? How? How can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we have hope. Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's that's impossible. That can't be hope. It's not even despair. It's something new entirely. What, what is this? Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Huh? Should thank Chiaki. She's the one who reinvigorated us again. That was only 12 faces? Seriously? Well, let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This nope. It's just the beginning, right? Absolutely. First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. Absolutely. It's the end. It's over for you. And you saw me is here. Down you go. Dang, you saw me. Whoa. That's the end. This is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? <sighs> but I guess I no longer, I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. Because you're gone now. <laughs> Is just so hopeless. Dude, that scared the living crap out of me. The voice just. You're gone now. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least this wasn't the ending prepared for them, this was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. It's time for us to go back. We can go back too. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. But we'll just wake up. Okay. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future. Hey, yep. I'll never forget you guys. 
or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's the one time I'd accept it. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. All right. This is the end, but it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Yes, he finally said it! I finally said it. And... Galician? Here you go. Me too. Thank you. Don't want to cry, damn it. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Because we're all friends after all. Amen, girl. Amen. Game over. But it's not the game over you want. It's the game over we created. Or rather, a good one. It's chapter six. It's the end. But it's the ending we all wanted. Whoa! Giant cell phone. Alright, let's see the epilogue of this game and see what we can get. And so, the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, nonsense, with sheer irrationality. It's about to lower its curtain. An instant smaller than Hope Seek Academy's biggest, most tragic events. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An instant so small that you have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future, as long as they remain here. Apparently, they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. What do you mean? Then, I guess we should get go. Hey, Makoto. Is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? But we're, but we, this is, this is our future now. I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? Maybe? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. Like a certain egg boy. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. But it isn't zero entirely, right? The possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. We reached it with you, we're gonna reach it with Ajime. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. And that's the way we like it. Haven't grown up? <laughs> that's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Um about that i was gonna think about it while i was on the ship good luck i'm not gonna <laughs> help you that much dang it kyoko can you help us please huh? why you should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision that's true fine <laughs> they're getting they're getting along well as ever i guess then let's go back as well we're not even close to finished yet there's still a lot we must do besides the future foundation 
The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. And by the way, I've already played through Ultra Despair Girls. Well, I haven't played through it, but I've watched a playthrough on it. That won't be on the channel, I'm sorry guys, but it's already way- it has way too much computer space to take up. Don't make me remember something <laughs> so horrifying. Then let's go. We must create our own futures too. That's the plan. And, and so, we- The ordeal has ended, and from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are- probably going to be a lot more difficult now. Doesn't mean they're impossible. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. Yup. Gotta grasp onto that future. And your own future. My future lies here. Epilogue, the day before the future. That was a pretty nice epilogue, too. And with that... And with that, DR2 has ended. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this wild ride of a game. Once again, it has exceeded my expectations like Trigger Happy has. And I had way too much fun putting together this game for you all. I'm happy to be of service once again to another beloved game of Danganronpa. It did not end the way I thought it was going to be, but when do these games ever end the way you think they're going to be? So... Now, we have no choice but to turn to the final game of Danganronpa, Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. That will be seen next Monday. It would have been this originally Monday, it would have been this Monday right now, but since the DR2 finale was delayed, that would pick up at the original spot. So again, next Monday is going to be the final game of Danganronpa, and I hope you guys will join me for that journey because it will definitely be a good one. So, once again, let's skip over the credits because really, um, we really got nothing else to see here, so let's skip over it. All right, Chain Lock, Goodbye Academy of Despair. We entered an Easter egg. Is Monokuma gonna show up like last time? You saw me, Strat. And Danganronpa IF. All right, let's save over it, and that's it. So, if you guys want to see the next game, Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, as soon as possible, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!